Welcome back, Lou. You know, I learned about influencers way back when, when my grandfather was from Kiev. We used to take him on walks in the park when I was five. And, um, and I asked him one time, I called him Zeta. I said, Zeta, how do you know all these people? Everybody that passes by says hi to him, talks to him. And he said, well, you know, one day I, I was just, I just started smiling to people. And then it was amazing. They smiled back and then they started talking to me. So I talked back and now it just keeps happening over and over again. And I understood it when I was five or six, but I really understood it after that. And we kind of related to this in our previous conversation where, you know, the right, making the right things simple and, and getting in a relationship is simple. People want it to be recognized and feel good. And that's what he did. It, it, so with that short story there, um, can you share with us maybe two or three or whatever people or, or situations where you've been influenced in, in your journey? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I, I'm I'm blessed here to to have a lot of uh, a lot of amazing people that have kind of pushed me along. Um, some of them had to pull me sometimes, but but uh, yeah, but it's it's really amazing. And um, so I'll tell you a couple of them. So uh, my best friend Peter Demondis. Whenever I had a, a dream, whenever I had a vision, whenever I had a mission, he always said go bigger, make it bigger, dream bigger, push harder. You can do this. This is, this is something you can do. And if I don't do it, then who will? And if I don't do it now, then when will I do it? And so being challenged to always dream bigger and push harder and really drive myself um, to the best of my possible capabilities and abilities uh, was a gift. Sure. Um, the next are my three kids. And the three kids, Bear, Ryan, and Felix, they've really taught me that there are consequences, long-term consequences to our actions. And that those consequences will outlive me. Um, and that makes responsible decision-making and uh, consistent action and consistent decision-making around the biggest, hardest decisions, it makes it easy. And all the time, I, or easier, <laughs> and all the time I tell the kids or they tell me, I say, well, I think to myself, I say, okay, well, what would my, what would my daughter do in this situation? What would I want her to do as her father thinking about it or my son or either of them what would I want them to respond like in these very challenging situations and it's never quitting and throwing up their hands it's never throwing a tantrum and screaming about it it's it's taking tangible steps and making tangible decisions that improve the outcome and then eliminate ultimately eliminate suffering and spread love and um and so the kids have been just I call them my little gurus and they really are, you know, they've, um, they've taught me just an infinite amount and inspire me all the time, every day, actually. Um, That's brilliant. And the next is a, a man named John Ryan, who I'm blessed to call my mentor. And um, I remember after my dad died and I was there with John and, and he was, you know, asked me about what I was doing. And, and he said, you know, you can do anything. And there was no caveat, there was no pullback, there was no question of that. And he said that you can do anything and it will be of tremendous and unimaginable value. And you need to know that because it will allow you to keep the course and to do it. Mm -hmm. And he is never, not for an hour, not for a day, not for a minute, not for a second, not been there for me. He's always been there. He's always been supportive. He's always said I could do it. And whenever I'm down and facing, you know, what, what can feel like a, um, an overcomable, you know, an, an insurmountable obstacle becomes something that, that is overcomable, something we can overcome, something we must overcome, something we, we do, and then we, we ultimately have overcome. And, um, and that level of support and guidance is, is, is really priceless. Um, and and it, it, I hope that everyone has people in their lives that, that inspire them. 
Um, so, you know, those are, those are three, I could give you a couple more, but those are, those me, are, uh, you can probably give me a hundred more because, um, you know, influencers sometimes come in one second or, you know, a moment or they come through a, a lifetime and, uh, you know, just really quick, I compare a lot of things to sports and, um, I always know that the best coach is one that knows how to get the player believing that they can do more than they thought they could do. Um, and it's by different ways of knowing how to coach that, that person. And, uh, and that's how, that's how championships and, and making a difference happen based on like what John did and, uh, you know, with you. So thanks so much for sharing that. Um, again, thanks for being a leader who cares and which is really important. And, um, we'll talk to you again soon. All right, Mark. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it.